Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Chevalier. And this is a biopic about Joseph Bologna, who is a Chevalier and the illegitimate son of an African slave and a French plantation owner who became one of the greatest violinists and virtuosos in the history of classical music. But we didn't know about him, and now we do, thanks to this new film from director Stephen Williams and written by Stephanie Robinson, who has done some work on Atlanta and what we do in The Shadows and Fargo. And Williams has done a lot of directing from the likes of shows like Lost and Watchmen and Westworld. And here we get Kelvin Harrison Jr. giving a powerhouse performance as this violinist who is also trying to help spark the French Revolution, which he was a big part of. And this particular film really sells it with the amazing costume and hairstyling and the production design. All of that really is impressive and quite a feat, really engrossing, brings us into this time period. And the music is what really carries it. Uh, Chris Bowers, who does the score for this, along with the actual music that we have Harrison's character playing throughout the film. This film has one of the best opening scenes I've seen in film this year, with this dueling violin performance between our protagonist and Mozart. And what a crazy opening scene it was. It really set the bar high for the rest of the film, which in many ways this film does hit the standard, what you would expect out of a biopic kind of narrative. It wished that it was a little bit more dynamic, like that opening scene. But there is some great cinematography along the way from Jess Hall, who has worked on a lot of different films like Hot Fuzz and Ghost in the Shell and Grindhouse. But here, there's impressive camera work. It's well shot. The music is fantastic and engrossing and creates the atmosphere now, narratively, and maybe some script-wise, it could have been a little bit more dynamic and interesting, but it does do right by this person, who we know very little about, but it's Harrison's performance that is off the charts impressive, really powerful, and really engaging. You have the likes of Samara Weaving and Lucy Boynton thrown in there. Martin Sokas is such a scummy antagonist here. You have Minnie Driver and a lot of other talented performers that really help elevate this film, even though a lot of its script feels very by-the-numbers biopic. There's flickerings and flashes and f just hints of greatness here, and there's elements that really do work. But in general, at the core of it, this is a rock-solid, well-made, well-done biopic that really gives you a story that you didn't know about, and now you do, and we're all better for it. And this is a rock-solid film, and I would be impressed to see this crew bring some other figures to life, but this particular film is definitely worth a watch. But those are my thoughts on Chevalier. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.